Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now since coal is formed deep inside the earth, it is deep under the ground, therefore it needs to be mined or it needs to be taken out from below the ground using different techniques and methods. So now these techniques and methods, when we talk about them, then we talk about coal mines. And what are coal mines? These are nothing but excavation or digging up in the earth to obtain coal. So basically there are certain areas where there are more deposits of coal. Why there are more deposits? Because maybe once upon a time, millions of years ago, there were a lot of forests out there which got buried under the soil due to floods. So in those regions, we have more deposits of coal and that is why you do not have coal mines located anywhere and everywhere. For example, in India, uh, a state where coal mines are like I mean, a state which is famous or popular for coal mines is Jharkhand. So there you have a lot of coal mines and this is how a coal mine looks. So here in the picture also you can see a coal mine. So basically, since we saw that coal is formed deep inside the earth so we have to actually dig as long as we do not reach there where coal is present and that's how we have to obtain the coal from there so coal mining being formed deep under the earth it is mined using different methods so let us look at some of the methods by which coal is mined so one is underground mining one is surface mining and the third one is mountain top mining so what are each of these so now let us spend some time quickly to understand how each of these different methods work. So we will start with underground mining. Now the name gives us a little bit of hint like since coal is the coal deposits will be underground so we are going to mine it somehow from there. So let's see what happens. So here the miners they dig tunnels down into the earth to find coal seams. So basically you see here, here you can see a person sitting inside a tunnel. Now since the coal is deep in under the ground, so what you do is you construct a tunnel and the tunnel goes deep inside, deep into the earth and you dig it until and unless you find that coal deposits. Now as I said before also that coal deposits are not found everywhere. There are specific locations where probability of finding coal mines are more. So that is where these kind of tunnels are being dug. Now since these tunnels are dug underground, it is known as underground mining. So automated equipment dig rooms into seams. So basically there are equipments which can do things automatically rather than manual labor involved and those equipments can actually create rooms inside the coal seams as well and there and that's how you actually do the entire process of mining. So this entire process of mining takes place underground through these tunnels. Now as the digging continues, a conveyor system carries the coal back to the surface. So have you ever seen a conveyor belt which is present uh, on the airport? Now when you go to collect your baggage after you get down from a flight, you would have seen the conveyor belt. So it is, it looks somewhat like this. So it keeps rotating like this and your bags and suitcases, they are placed here. So as it rotates, it reaches near you and you pick your suitcase up. So that's how the conveyor belt works. So a similar type of system is present here also. So what happens is the real miners who are actually bringing down the coal, they, where are they present? They are present underground right inside the tunnels. Now as this digging happens, we also need to carry the coal from underground and bring it to the surface and there is huge amount of coal, right? So what is done is, as the digging happens, the amount of coal which is being collected that is passed to the surface through a conveyor system like this or so a similar type of system. The one which you see in the airport, a very similar type of system actually helps to carry the coal from underground to the surface. So that's how the process of underground mining happens. However, there are certain disadvantages associated with underground mining. One is mine gases can suffocate miners because now if you look at the miners, the person who are actually involved in mining the coal, they are 
present underground and they are present inside those tunnels so th those tunnels are nothing but they are kind of rooms inside the coal mines now just imagine it is going to be quite suffocating because you cannot move freely it is just one room which is underground and that too which is surrounded by coal everywhere so it can be suffocating and also what is coal? Coal has high carbon content. So the kind of gases which will get emitted inside a coal mine that they are also not very healthy. So suffocation might become a common thing for the miners. Mines collapse. Now sometimes it also happens that the mines collapse because there is so much of heat, there is so much of energy in coal, right? So it, it is also possible that it collapse or uh, it catches fire. So that means it can again be risky to the miners. Coal dust is harmful to health. Now, the dust which is produced due to presence of a lot of coal. In fact, if you go to these kind of areas, like if you visit places in Jharkhand where coal mines are present, so there you can actually feel the presence of these kind of uh, coal dust. So whenever you go out somewhere near the coal mine area, you can actually feel that blackish dust everywhere. And these dust can cause... Uh, different diseases it can cause asthma it can cause breathing problems so it can even call cause uh, allergies and cold so that means also it is harmful to the health of miners because in this mining the miner is always exposed to uh, a closed area full of coal dust the next type of coal mining is surface mining. So here we do not really go into underground, but we try to mine it being on the surface. So let's see how do we do that. Here coal seams are often close to the surface rather than deep underground. Now this type of mining is suitable for those areas where the coal seams are not very deep inside. So if it is relatively closer to the surface, there we can follow this surface mining. Because in this case, it is faster, safer and more economical to dig the coal out from the top. So you remain on the surface, you remain on the top, you just dig the ground and try to bring the coal out to the surface. So that was absolutely it is safer because the miners here, nobody goes underground. So they are all on the surface. So at least they are not that much exposed to coal dust or they are not that much getting suffocated because they are present on the surface. Again, the second thing is it is more economical because in the previous case of underground mining, the entire tunnel had to be dug, the rooms have to be created in the coal mine. So all those things also involve cost. So all, the, all those costs are also saved. So that means also it is more economical. It is also faster because you are also saving time. When you are not digging a tunnel, you are saving time, of course. So that means it is also faster. But the only uh, disadvantage I would say that is associated with this is this will not work if the coal seams are present very deep inside the earth because in that case it is little difficult to bring it to the surface directly being on surface. So after peeling away the layer of soil over the coal, miners start digging out the coal seam using large equipment. So for digging purpose there are equipments available so all they need to do is since the coal my, the coal seams are not very deep inside so all they need to do is just remove the top layer of soil once that is removed you should be able to find the coal seam and then you start digging the coal seam using a bigger equipment so that you can bring out the coal to the surface third type of mining is mountain top mining so what is this so this is the least popular technique so the most convenient most easy technique would be the surface mining However, this mountaintop mining is also used in many places. So here miners blast top of mountain and carry away the coal underneath. Now what happens is wherever you have a lot of coal deposits, now there might be certain areas where you have a lot of coal below but on top you have a huge mountain. So basically it has formed a huge mountain at the top. So in that case what do these miners do? They blast the top of the mountain. So once you are able to blast the top of the mountain, what happens? The mountain gets exposed. You are basically removing the cover or the top cover of the mountain. So once the cover is removed, whatever is present inside gets exposed. And what is present inside in this case? Coal. So all the coal that is present underneath, they get exposed and that's how the coal is obtained. 
Now, once the mining is done, what what do we, what do they do? The miners they cover the base of the mountain with dirt and replant with trees. So they grow more trees in that area. However, since a blast has occurred, so everything has got burnt and all the coal has been extracted. So it actually takes a lot of a couple of years, maybe 10, 20, 30 years for that particular area to recover. So this is not a very popular technique because you are basically devastating that area and then you actually need to wait for a long time for that area to get recovered. So it is not a very advisable technique. However, in areas where they actually have a mountain beneath which a lot of coal is present, they do follow this technique. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.